<laughs> Brittany, yep, come here. So I'm pointing this girl out because what I like to do, just out front, if we have any guests I gotta leave, I'm not gonna feel disrespected, feel free to go. I'm very good at knocking excuses out of the way. And as human beings, that's something that we're all really good at. We're professional ex excuse givers. How many times you say, oh man, we're gonna go to the gym, 27 days to make a habit, day four, doesn't donut sitting in your bed. <laughs> Am I lying? Right? I don't have time. I can't do it. I'm busy. The question is this. Is what you're busy doing helping you get out of continuing to be busy? One. Is it getting you to where you got to go? Two. This young lady, how many people you have in your organization now? 44. 44 people in the organization. In college. Tell me who has less time than people that are in college. She's doing this business part-time, almost full-time. And when did you graduate? In May. Can we hear it for Brittany? Hey, please come up here. What did I say I like to do? I like to eliminate what? Excuses. Excuses. I don't have time to support excuses. Everybody has how many hours in the day? 24. You know there's people that make more money in one year and four hours than I do in an entire year? Because it's about efficiency. And the first place that I always look is to people like Andres and people like Jackie. Because every time I see somebody that comes into this organization and has a child, they say, I don't have time. I can't find a babysitter. It's tough. I got to feed my kid. Where's your child? Where you found a way, yeah. right? Yes. As a mother, why don't you kind of tell them your story? Um, I'm a single mom. I was working feet 11 all the time. I was away from my son. When I came across this opportunity with Mark Joseph, of course, he's a wonderful mentor, wonderful leader. He showed me and my friend Judy this opportunity. We were both like, what is this is bringing us to? No, I can't do this. I don't know. I don't have time. I have a kid. You know, I, I don't have money. Mind you, we just spent like $500 on a birthday party. But we don't have money to invest into $249 deal, right? We all make excuses, and I was making excuses, of course. And when I finally decided to take this opportunity, it was the best decision of my life because I've learned from all these people here. I, you get a piece of everybody in you. Why well, I say that? Because everybody rubs off on each other and you get, create your own success, you create a new you. Then you're never too young to learn. You know, people are like, oh, I'm too old, I can't go back to school. We have 56 year olds graduating from school. That's why I say you can always learn from people who are younger than you. And that's what I've learned. I've learned from Nick, I've learned from Rob, Tyrone, Brittany. I'm 27, there's no, there's no age limit to you growing. Mm -hmm. And the only person that can keep you from being successful is yourself. I mean, that. take action, you guys. This opportunity is an amazing opportunity. That's what I have to say. So what do I like to get rid of? Excuses. What's the word? Excuses. 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 So we got a student, full-time student, just graduated, found some time to do the business, and did well, right? We found parents that made probably the most excuses and they used their children as a crutch, but we found one that's not. That's good. You got the third person. That person is me. The person who graduated from a good school, the person that's already making a six-figure income, the person that already thinks their life is okay. Until there's one thing that hits you in the face, it's called life. Because the more money you make, guess what you get more of? Working. The more money you make, the more you're working for someone else and making them more money. Okay? So I'll tell you, I don't have time to do this business full time. You heard me say it. But here's the secret. You can't do this job full time even if you wanted to. You know why? Because who you gonna talk to between nine and six or 40 hours a week doing this business? You can't. I work full time. I'm traveling out the country. I'm traveling all, all across, out the country. I just came back from Chicago on Monday. I'm working nine to five in my job. I'm in a long distance relationship with my girlfriend who lives in another state. And at that time, I do know five links during the weekend because my mom taught me something very well when I was young. She said, happy girl, happy world, happy wife, 
happy life. <laughs> so you got to have a balance. So literally, I cannot do this business between the hours of 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. and 6 p.m. on Friday to 9 p.m. on Sunday. I literally cannot do this business more than four hours a week. Impossible. I can't. But with the I can't do it more than four hours a day, I only do a one hour a day. And my organization has grown to 765 people in one hour a day. Because it don't take me more than 30 seconds to say, Rob, how's your day doing? How can I help you? Tyrone, how's your day doing? How can I help you? Mark Joseph, how are you doing? What can I learn from you today? Shalir, what can I learn from you today? Brittany, what have you done this week that's allowed you to have success? How can I do that? <coughs> how long did it just take me to say that? Not long. 30 seconds. 30 seconds. I could do about 100 of those a day if I wanted to. So if you have an hour a day and you think this could be important to you, then I say welcome to the family. If not, there's a million other people out there making excuses saying the same thing, but I can guarantee you this. One year from today, guess what they'll be doing? The same thing. We're not here on this earth to work hard, to work smart, to be at the same place we were when we started. Thank you, guys.